Her name is um, Avalia. So I uploaded that. They got hits right away. And then it got removed for hate speech. <laughs> but there was no hate speech. It was just her name alone was hate speech. And so, um, or so probably either some white power guy fucking reported it as hate speech and YouTube didn't look at the video or YouTube's algorithm just read her name and just went, well, it's You're turning. So it's turning into. I uploaded uh, it again, and now it's a two. Now it's two. Now it's it's up there. It's a good video. It's oh, a pretty good video. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the it's one of the bigger videos. Yeah, it depends on the person who's viewing it. It could be a, a separate person at Google who's wa a different person who watches it each time. Well, YouTube doesn't have people looking at those videos. It's all based on algorithms. It's wow. too expensive to hire people to review it. Facebook does, and those people have. Uh, those people have to see counselors and shit for the fucking trauma they experience looking at some of this shit. Looking at beheading videos and all this fucking scat munching. But, uh, the fucking, uh, but YouTube, man, they just have a computer that looks at it. In fact, this Avalian girl got kicked off and then, um, got, and then went back on and she's back on now. So I don't even know if it was her YouTubing herself and finding this because it's a really funny idea for a video. I do a lot of National Lampoon-like covers. Remember National Lampoon? Yeah. They, How they used to have parody covers? Parodies. I do parody videos like that. Like and one onion. thing we were, we were talking about, well, no, like the covers oh, the themselves. Covers. So this one was called uh, something hypnotic of Valion hypnotizes men using hypnosis. And it's supposed to be, um, there's, a, there's a genre of videos on YouTube, they're like jerk-off videos where a woman hypnotizes you and dominates you and controls you and makes you masturbate for her. <laughs> and so, because me and, me and Will had alluded to it and talked about it for a second, they're really, really, really funny. Sometimes they use celebrities, like Selena Gomez, you know? Oh, they edit it together? Well, they just show pictures of Selena Gomez and then they print dialogue onto the screen. They yeah, used right. to get audio, fake audio, and then show pictures and shit. I think... I think they get a little more hits if they put a little more production into so it. So if but you wanted to masturbate to Selena Gomez. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to jerk off to because you're just reading something <laughs> and there's pictures of Selena Gomez. I guess, I guess, you know, I don't know. I'm an erotica guy, you know. I, when I, uh, I, they don't call it porn when it's written. They call it erotica. So you, uh, you, you, it, you gotta be classy about it. You gotta wipe your cum off with baby wipes oh, okay. instead of a sock. That's the difference between porn and erotica. Uh, oh, okay.